is to actually get a facial. So I'm currently in the well, which is like this huge new outdoor mall in Toronto And I'm actually going to the Indigo here because I heard it's really really big Janice and I are actually going to do a little bookstore date. This was my idea I really wanted to just go and also just pick out a few new books and give a few book reviews So I'm just waiting for her These were Miffy for a second, but it's literally just a regular rabbit. Janice and I only got to spend around 90 minutes in the Indigo because we got there kind of late, but we just roamed around a bit and then also traded book recommendations, specifically young adult romances, because those are just easy reads that you can pick up anywhere, anytime. And then Janice saw the sketchbook and she was drawing on it and she challenged me to draw an animal from memory. So I'm gonna put it up on screen and you guys can guess what we were drawing. I think this really gave me a huge wake up call that I don't know how to draw um at all so let me know what you guys think and yeah what are your thoughts on books having modern day references sometimes it's like a little bit of a jump scare like i read this book to get away from this world yeah you're talking about tiktok yeah even when they like drop in like oh like she's seen this song by taylor swift and i'm like why? Yeah, like, why would you say that? Yeah, just don't include it. You know what book did that? Ali Hazelwood's second book. Love on the Brain. Oh. Did you see her face? I didn't like that book. That's so classic, enemies to lovers. Take it, this book is so expensive too. I'm trying to convince Janice to read Twisted Hate, which is the third book in like the Twisted series by Anna Huang, and it's $26.99, so I'll send you the EPUB. Oh, I would search it in here. <laughs> So I just got in and I'm actually going to go get a haircut because as you can see my hair the layering isn't exactly perfect like this piece is like really really short and then this piece is like so much longer and I think it's just because I've been playing around with it too much I've gotten it perm so many times it's not necessarily dead like I would say my hair is actually quite healthy for permed hair but I just want to fix up the layering just because I feel like my curls haven't been curling the way that they should be or just a little bit inconsistent even with my hair care routine so I'm going to a salon right now and I'm honestly just gonna cut off like this much I think which is about like two or three inches so this is probably at its like worst state but yeah I'm gonna head out right now Okay guys, it's been a few days since my hair come and the curls that she styled have fallen out a little bit just because it's been like three days. But I just asked my hairdresser to cut off two to three inches off the bottom and to fix the layers. I basically showed to her in the mirror how my hair was like in three segments and I really, really didn't like that. So she really took her time to make the layers more seamless and you can honestly not even tell that I have those choppy layers anymore. So I'm actually really happy with how this looks now, especially because she curled it nicely. But anyways, the next part of this little glow up is to actually get a facial. I haven't gotten one, I think in over a year. And this is actually my sister's idea because she knows of a spa that's having a discount run for all of January. So she said we should take advantage of it. And I've been influenced. So this is my skin before. It's not looking too, too bad because I have been keeping up with my skincare routine. I would say my biggest problems are the acne scarring here on my chin. And then just like this texture, I guess. I have thought about lasering off my freckles for the longest time. You guys have no idea how long I've been meaning to get them lasered off. That's not gonna happen in this session, but that's just a skin concern that I've thought about. Anyways, I'm going to head out now because I'm going to be late. I just finished my facial and my bangs are super crazy, so just ignore it, but my skin has not looked better, I swear.
So not every day do I decide to work at a cafe because I do have quite a few meetings and calls that I should be at home for or in a quiet place for, for work. So I came to Rooster Coffee House after all my calls for the day and I just worked on patient information sheets again. And I do have to say that I am enjoying my own company, just doing things on my own in the city more and more like as I do it every week. Okay guys, I just did something super bad, but I got Uber Eats because, first of all, I know that I'm supposed to be saving money and I canceled all my memberships, that is true, but Wingstop was having a BOGO and I was starving and I don't have any food because I need to do a grocery shop, so a little mukbang. Maybe I'll do some like Q and A's while I do this. I think a big question that a lot of you guys have been asking is why I moved downtown. And if I didn't make that clear, my two previous videos since I moved is because I had an internship down here and it was supposed to be hybrid or fully in person. I don't really have anything tying me down to any cities. Like a lot of my friends are like in the states. Alicia's in Australia. Like a lot of my high school friends, like we've all like really drifted, like in terms of work, not in terms of relationships. So all of my friends are really scattered, and then all my pharmacy school friends went back to like their hometowns or like stayed in Waterloo for their internships so I just like kind of did the same and I kind of just like branched out but we're all like kind of separated and yeah that's why I moved <laughs> a bunch of sweet PR from Fenty Beauty. So I'm actually just gonna read about this with you guys. It is the Hydrating Longwear Concealer. I'm actually like a beauty guru, but they sent over three different shades and me and my sisters are all super close. So I'll definitely give whichever one doesn't match me to one of them. They also sent over a blurring tint, which I'm excited to use because people said it's very skin-like. They also sent over the Invisimat powder, which I'm excited to use. And also like these little makeup sponges, which I think are so cute. Oh my God, they're so tiny. Oh, they also sent an eye cream and then I actually went home to Mississauga on the weekend. So I picked up two hair products from an Asian at beauty store. I got the viral Japanese hair mask. This is by Shiseido. It's the Fino premium touch hair mask. And then I also saw this was super popular. I think there's three different kinds, but I got the deep moist hair oil. Last thing, NARS actually sent over. I actually don't know if this is for Valentine's Day or Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year or Vietnamese New Year, but they sent a really cute lipstick in this like nude. But guys, I love playing with makeup even if I don't wear it like every single day. I don't know if that's gonna work for me, but I'm sure my eldest sister would love this. And then I got another powder set, which is just a brush and a powder. Oh, wow. Oh, this looks exactly like the Fenty one that I just opened. It has like the same puff. Look, they're literally the exact same thing. Anyways, I'm gonna play with these and see how I like them and I'll let you guys know. Oh.